Hey guys, if you're ever buying diamonds, Aptoid's version of Mobile Legends will save you the most amount of money. The more people that buy diamonds from them, the cheaper they actually become. So there's no reason for anyone not to be using my link in the description. It's 100% legit. They're an official partner of Moonton, so there's no risk of your account being banned, and it literally takes 10 seconds to download. So if you're not saving money, I don't know what to tell you, you're, you're just missing out. Game 3, uh, no, MPL no, no, Philippines, no, Season no, 9, no, Week 4, no, Day 2, no, let's no, begin. Oh, and Estes, no, whatever no, happened no, to Estes? It fell out of meta so quickly. See, here I feel like you could go Diggy on Blacklist. Because they only have like one thing that needs a Diggy ult. Which is really good. But maybe they want to take the Estes maybe to Purify and then heal against the Kag as well. I don't know if you can really heal through a Kaggle. Kaggle's pretty quick burst. Now they are missing a little bit. Ryzen coming in. Who took it? And wow! Look at Ryzen on point. Take it the little wonder. So messy, yeah. Getting it. I think he saved his Aji. Oh, oh, the jump in, forcing out the wings by wings. Dexcar protecting his mid laner, Captain Haji. I'm liking this. Uh, I think earlier this season we saw. That's why I don't like heroes like that, though. Let me just go back real quick. The reason I don't like heroes like Estes is because look, look what happens when you play supports. They hide in the bush, and then your damage dealer is out in the middle, fucking clearing the wave. And I'm in like I'm a Haji player, you know. I play mage a little bit, I, and if I'm a veil here, my tank's camping behind me from a line from a Kag in mid and a Kufra over here. Like I'm in a little upset, you know. I'm a little upset. I'm getting focused, and my tank's not, you know, either taking damage or zoning them. <laughs> like Dexstar didn't need to be right there, you know. Protecting his mid laner, Captain Haji. I'm liking this. Uh, like, Haji should have been right here. Dexstar should have been out in the middle. If Haji steps out of the bush, yeah, Dexstar can come to this bush to protect here, but you already know the Kufra's up here. Right? You don't need Dexstar in this bush. Haji could have been in this bush. Way more safe. <clears throat> Earlier this season, we saw them try to do this. Didn't work out, but now there's something to it. Obviously, uh,. It moves a little differently, obviously, from uh, Oh My Venus's SS, mm -hmm. which we haven't seen in a while. Not sure if I like the Brody going into this very you late. You just don't allow that, you don't give it. <laughs> and for good reason, right? So, uh, But again, I think this is better. I think Kempir is more proactive on the Lancelot. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to produce better results, I think, compared to the last game. Mm. I'm not sure, obviously, uh, the win or lose is going to be uh, up in the air, though. Shark Hill helping out Kalra, sensing danger there. The Jackals did get the information the Phantom Execution was committed by Kevier, so they won't be too aggressive in trying to take down Kalra in that lane. Meanwhile, topside, Ryzen taking away the scaled lizard on the side of Kevier. Yo, Omega's on something else, man. Where did you see, wherever did you see, a claw jungler go up against a Lancelot <coughs> jungler and have turtle priority? Look, they were there first, but they decide to let go. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. they can't fight. Alright, Lance Jungle Emblem, Claw Jungle Emblem. Everybody's running that Jungle Emblem. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen Claw Jungle in a while. I really haven't seen Claw Jungle in a while. But Omega are liking, well, for them, it seems like they're really liking their chances of as long as we get the Claude farm, he doesn't get taken out early on, he might be able to do this. Oh, there's a jump in. Chakno oh, I like to oh have stun the going to retreat in the face of this three-man squad from Blacklist. That gold lane is unwavering. But for Blacklist, <clears throat> if they're not getting leads, they might be a little bit behind here. That's I don't like the Estes position again. I just don't. I don't like it. Powerful compared to Lancelot as time progresses. Yeah. And right now, is that a lot of rotation bottom side here for Blacklist. And that's really forcing Chaco with the rest of the Oh, my God. Close one. Kelra gets the hell out of Dodge, forcing out the Federer strike from Haji. A close call. Next star is weak, man. Obviously, Edward's got a good leeway here. Almost nuked him. He walked right into that. I don't know if that was like lag compensation or what, but it seemed like the ult was ending and then he walked into it and he took a bunch of damage. I don't know if that's a delay. 
piece, but Marky did. The hell is going on? I can't believe it's a commando single handedly who actually got the first turret himself. I gotta stop watching these replays. These replays are glitching out here. He cut the minion wave incoming in the bottom lane, and then with this minion wave, he was just able to clear it alone. Oh, Chaklu. Look at this. Puncture on through. Chaklu coming in. No follow. Yeah, he definitely got baited right there, Chaklu. At least as a consequence. I don't like Omega's tank, man. I don't like Omega's tank. Further engagement. Man, Blacklist won with a clear pick off. They're gonna start up this Lord. Is this enough? Renzio. X Star still has all. I'd be sending that shit right down right now. Good. And they blazing do F coming into the power. Massive Dex are all. Oh my lord. Gets another. A shutdown by Kelra on the backswing. Two for one so far. Lord reset. Yeah, both junglers. That's the one thing about Estes. I mean, tank dies. There goes your anti heal. Here comes Ryzen. Chaknu with a jump in. Oh my god, Ryzen. Chaknu. They get two down. Edward. What a day. Edward blue buff. Ryzen's on the blue buff, Edward. They lose mid lane. Finally, he sees it. Yes, Edward. Yes. Yes, Edward. Putting up the geek fam. Ah, nice game, bro. Took it long <laughs> enough. Jack Mamba pulled off a great set of play there, but Omega couldn't respond. To be honest, I thought well, the Cloud was going to go back to the blue buff and the take it. I don't, I don't know why he didn't TP back. On Ryzen. Oh, man, it's like a different... For, again, it's just... It feels like a dream. The history between these two, the picks that they showed, Blackness running it back with the Estes, but this time they're playing around a Lancelot. The history, the story between these two. We said it earlier, it is a dream to watch. Super dumbfounded. Uh, Don't ever took the blue. Like, stuff are going on that shouldn't be. Uh, this is the last game, boys. Blacklist versus Omega. Blacklist is winning. He's more cautious on his club now. Mm. I'm surprised. I feel like he now has the tools, though, for just like one big blade. Should be able well. to fight, yeah, if you wanted to. But the heels. Again, it's like, how many times have we seen it before? Omega rocking a claw, trying to burn down the members of Blackness, but then Blackness surviving through with a heal. No, you're right, throw back to Season 8. The claw was one of the few answers to the Ube when people were trying to break that streak. Yeah, even back in Season 7. When... Hands of Bren Esports oh. as well, right? <laughs> I don't like Haji sitting there not moving. Find. Oh, tries to get one. Oh, he wow. gets Dexstar, bouncing ball out. Dexstar's got the purify, though. I really don't want to focus right. him. And just as quickly, like, all right, they're topped up, ready to go again. All right, slowing down here for Blacklist. Oh, oh what? We're Dyke away. What? what? All right. Kevin there we are. Overshoots. No, no, no. Where's the cameraman? <laughs> yep. Renzio. What's the cameraman doing? Both Haji and Kevier. Falling Star Moon right where mm. Kevier would come back through. Edward to the rescue. The Lord Five members. Been. And just like that, underneath Blacklist knows in the blink of an eye, they take the Lord Omega. Clearly winning, gets a double kill. No casualties just yet. The Comeback Kings have come back. Kevier is throwing. They're doing it, boy. They're doing it. Slowly but surely. They just abandoned Omega, Lord. Just making all the right moves in all the right places. Surprise says Omega taking the Lord out of nowhere, and I guess that's the power of having a marksman with a demon slayer. Man, it also happened so quickly. First thing we see, so Kevier, yeah, Kevier overshoots his puncture and phantom execution. Next thing here, you know, here, here. Omega gets a Lord. Oh, was this. Yeah, I just, I don't know what happened there. The Blacklist. Oh, oh, Dexstar's up there. Caviar is nowhere to be found. Oh. Caviar's in the back. Getting that kill. And it's fed it, fed it all the camera. I mean, Dexstar, to be Get fair, was on. in a good position. I don't know what Caviar was doing. What's going on here, ladies and gents? All right, so successful defense by Blacklist on all fronts oh. so far. But the damage has been done. And a big gold lead, Feather too. Strike. This is I don't like Edward on that claw. Trying to buy some time. Ethomax at a third of his health. All right, Omega needs to slow down again. Look at Haji and the rest of the squad. I think at this point it's so hard to be like the Farsa here. Since you don't know where you're gonna defend now. <laughs> like wh which one you're gonna choose, especially when Omega starts to do the multi prong push. I think and that's exactly what Omega needs to do as well. I think even more now Leo really wants that Sanrio Claude skin. <laughs> Seeing a demon slayer Claude. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Oh man, where is he? Just taking the purple, taking his orange. <laughs> 
Omega has just superior map control at this yeah. point. Full build. I think he's on the way to building an Athena shield, yeah. Uh, as his last item. So even Haji's gonna be uh, okay. Like, he can take Haji. Edward still doesn't have talisman. Of course, my gosh. Just, uh, maximize avoiding it, but. Oh! Good chance of surviving. Oh, Edward. I got that blue. Okay, so better on Edward than Omega. I yes. Guess. Especially yeah. better, better on him than that Kagura. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Kagura with a purple buff would be a nightmare for Blackwood right now. And obviously, I don't think there's gonna be any big movements until we get to this board. Yeah. So, Blackness, I think at this point, should focus on trying to extend these goals, uh, these lanes, to their favor before the big goal fight starts. It's the waiting game right now for Blacklist. He finally gets Talisman. There's a point where uh, Edward is so rich. I'm not sure if that was his first Enchanted Talisman, but he started juggling. He just bought the Enchanted Talisman, and this is when you know that your Esmeralda is eating good. Mm. She picked up the ice cream once again. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was his first enchanted talisman. I don't know why he's buying his first enchanted talisman now. I mean, it's the slows. And actually, you get like a better. If I'm not mistaken, you get also a bit of life deal with the icy one. Yes, right? it's, yeah. it's almost glue like a level of annoying. Yeah, which is the same thought. Wow. Oh, Haji. Oh, the spot lane's an issue with Lord. And of course, can't be with the blind. We're going all in. They're saying screw bot. The Lord, like already, Omega's it's dangerous to leave bot like that. To be honest, all three of their ibs are taking damage right now. Oh, and look at this, the blazing the weapon line. Oh no! He gets a double K again. Oh no! Everyone's trying for Lord. One more down, and the must is the Lord. Oh man! Oh no! Oh no! Did he get the savage? And Haji left. Give this guy the savage. Oh, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! That is the first oh savage of the season! God. The Shadow Striker strikes again! Oh, oh my god! He's gonna god. take this series! Give us the Black picture of Kelra! The rivalry does not disappoint! 2 1! Oh. But a oh. Mega Mega Rise! Blacklist, 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 oh, Blacklist, nasty Blacklist. Ending. They just cannot win, can they? Oh, Kaviar was playing well, and then he just played like doo doo. Oh no synergy, no synergy what? from Blacklist. Arcade, no synergy again. Well, I'm just, yeah. I wanted, I was, I was rooting I for them. The, uh, oh, I was rooting for them. I gotta watch that again. And that's what happens when you play enough. You know the exact time. Uh, everyone's ears are getting destroyed. You know the exact time how long Farce's passive skill is. That's just crazy when you know that. He knows when he casts it. <clears throat> Once he casts it, now, right now. <clears throat> In 28, 15, 29, 15, 30, 15, 31, 15, 32. 15.33 5 seconds? Does it last for 5 seconds? How long is that? I don't play Farsa, so I don't know. He clearly plays it though. He clearly plays Farsa. He plays with enough Farsas. Luckily be awaited? Yeah. GGIQ? Oh yeah, you know, you know the Farsa... You know the Farsa is gonna... I'm inside the map. Equal to wherever she is outside, it'll pass it. 